Hello everyone, this is Stevio here, and today we're doing something different. We are dreaming about the next FS21, or FS22, or 23, whatever it's going to be called. These are the most requested items in the next game. As always, don't forget to like, and these, I'm going to put these in my order. Let me know down in the comments if they're out of order. If I just miss the mark completely, I can take it. Just leave it down in the comments. Alright, first and most important. We cannot have a better game without this, a game engine. Now, usually Giants did this every other game. So, FS19 had a new game engine. Beans, usually their games came out every two years, so they'd have a new game engine every four years. But, we are over two years already. A game engine is hugely important to this. Why I put it as number one is we can't not have a better game without a better game engine. There's new consoles out there, they can take it, new game engine, number one request. Second most requested item, I think, is American and European changes you can make in the store. Have American tractors. I'm an American farmer, that's how I'd like to play this game. I know there's European farmers out there. I think Giants knows this too, that's why they branched their business out and now they're in the states right now. So we could have European and American equipments, they just have to be slightly changed, maybe even bushels and liters where we could change it. Equipment, American equipment, European equipment, that is one of the most important things for the next game. Third, and this might, after I think about it, be number one. Giants needs to support the modders fully. You know, when they release a game, they release it a few months earlier to all the YouTubers. Get that content out because it makes sense. Because you want people to get excited about the game and want to buy it. But also, give it out to the modders. I'm sorry, this game would only last two months if the modding community out there kept it going for us. They are hugely important to this game. I think it is number one. In FS19, they improved the graphics phenomenally we got real rubber texture plastic texture can they even do better i think they can with the new consoles out there another thing a major farm brand out there kubota versatile in fs19 john deere was huge we need to come out with another smash hit like one of them american dominant brands sixth thing dynamic ground control so I don't know how far I really want this maybe on off but be able to dig into the ground not just with a landscaping tool but with the equipment and make everything have mud textures if it rains then we get stuck out in the field with the tractors and everything I see controls for all the tractors in shop in game I see controls where I can move my seat around I can move the mirrors I can move the controls I can move I can move the steering wheel I know we have these at mods thanks to our great modders out there but have it in game one of the most important things I think is having an interactive dog I don't know what it is about dogs dogs make everything just more fun and more enjoyable have a dog that runs around in the truck jumps in the bed of the truck jumps in the cab jumps in the tractor cab or maybe just follow the tractor while you're plowing the field and just run alongside it in different breeds while we're at it real to earth real to life maps Giants maps just don't do it for me. Thank goodness for our modders out here, like this MRG mapping that made this Marksville map here. It just brings so much realism to the game. This, Medicine Creek, No Creek, they are just too realistic. They bring so much of this game out and make me want to play it that much more. Seasons, in game, another very important thing. Greater weather interference. Let's get a tornado. Maybe it doesn't rain that year, so my crops wither and dry, or I get a really bad yield. Uh, maybe it just it hails and takes out all of my corn crop while we're at it. Something like that. Weather interference would be great. Hydraulic and wheel force feedback. 
uh, once I'm if I'm moving the equipment make the tractor hydraulic sound like I'm used to when I was on the farm hydraulics are noisy put it in game in game physics we can go on and on and on about this but the real truth is just make it more realistic and prove farm hands not all of us can farm a 4x map all by ourselves prove them farm hands maybe be able to go take a load of grain to the elevator something like that wildlife deer uh, more animals in the game deer you know wild pig something like that just brings so much realism to the game sounds uh, FS19 did a huge improvement on sounds like better wind noise I hate the wind noise in this game or just weather noise as it thundering and all that would be a huge improvement this is for all the console lovers out there better slot counts make us be able to crash our game if we want to please Giants I know you're taking the right directions on making that happen hope it sticks major truck brand like this Ram right here or Ford Chevy we don't want to play with lizard we want the brand it brings so much realism out there old tractor selection let's get some of the iconic IH tractors out there the 4020 all the iconics even bring some of the Europeans if that's what you want iconic old tractors so we can have them in game equipment breakdowns in tractor breakdowns maybe we get a flat tire we have to run to the store really quick and go pick up a pallet of a tire and then bring it back and put it on our tractor or we have to go change oil at a certain limits they can be turned on off if we really want to make us do parts runs if that's what we want for realism like have to go get an oil filter or hydraulic fluid one crop seed just make a bag of seed where it's only corn or only soybeans vehicle interference sounds have a when it's driving on the gravel or on the concrete make that sound difference that the vehicle tires make more hand tools yes some of us all of us like playing usually bigger in the tractor and equipment but have better hand tools maybe like an impact if we have to put a tire on the tractor and everything just slight amount land clearing let us buy a field that has rocks or tree stumps in it and force us to land clear not just clear off the trees but actually dig down into the stump into the ground and dig it out more crops this one's hard because there's so many crops out there which ones do we want we got more for FS19 what will we get I would like to see alfalfa in game this is another one for all the console lovers bigger maps of course we already have that in PC thanks to all of our great modders out there but consoles they need to play on a 4x map or a 2x map or even a 16 I think that might be stretching it a little bit for a console but it just brings so much realism especially if you're playing multiplayer young and old cattle not just as in seasons but actual visual young and old we buy calves we raise them as real beef and then we beef cattle and then we go sell them at the market manual attach that works most of the time we do have manual attach for PCs but it's super buggy a lot of the equipment don't work we already kind of went over this damage to vehicles if I run this truck into a tree I will have to change the hood or maybe have a flat tire whatever beam in cab displays I know there's mods already out there for this but have it interactive so when I'm running the planner I can see the role selection everything like that in-game auctions and sales have the dealership more interactive like they put equipment out there we can go visualize the equipment and see and then there will be sales on all the equipment and with that new and used equipment 
have older equipment, used equipment, like this old John Deere combine here. Put the old iconic equipment, harvesters, everything in the game. Everybody wants to run the 4440 or 4430 like that. Interactive farmers in the field. If I'm playing single player, it's just so much more realistic if somebody else is doing something. Maybe have it, it as placeables too. Like I could place a row construction crew as a placeable and it'll have interactive people running about and doing stuff, making it more realistic for all the single players out there. Bigger and different dealers. Have a case dealer, have a John Deere dealership. This is another thing why we need bigger maps so we can have this type of interaction, have different dealerships, only be able to buy one brand at one dealership or a used of off brand from that dealership. Extended passenger mod in game for all the vehicles. I know we got this now for all the vehicles. It needs to be in next game. I'm too I'm loving it too much. Have landscaping dirt equipment in game. Have a bulldozer where I can actually landscape the ground or tip over a tree or in not just with a mod be able to delete stuff on the map. If I have a building somewhere on the map and I'm not crazy about it I can just go up to it delete it put my own placeable what I want. GPS in game. If I don't want to look at the map, I could just use the screen inside the cab or inside the truck, whatever being, have it interactive screen and all, GPS and game. Allow us to be able to overfill all the trucks. If I get crazy, if I don't shut off the auger soon enough or the grain cart, I will overfill, Ill grain will be dumping out on the sides or be able to overload a truck. Allow us to do that. You know, sometimes we like to get a little bit crazy. Maybe our buddy's talking smack and we want to overfill his off-brand truck. Fuel, diesel, death, separate them all. Force us to use all three when we have to for the vehicles and equipment that it's needed for ground compaction interference in the field. If we decide to go with really low pro tires, have it interfere with the crop, maybe be able to see it in something like precision farming, our tracks through the field. Crop damage by weather. We already kind of went through this, but have it greater interference. If it doesn't rain that year, we do not get the same yield for our crops. If it hails, our crops are done for. Bigger, maybe even have a like radical mod or a version out there so we can really have to, maybe a tornado runs through our whole field and draws a line and runs down all the corn on us. Lease fields in game. Be able to go up to another farmer, ask them to lease a field so we can get the crop out kind of like uh, the interactive uh, contracting what we have now but be able to lease that field take that crop money and have to pay that cash rent to them functioning mirrors let us be able to change the mirrors the way we want so no matter where we sit and be able to have different seating arrangements that better agitatious to us be able to move forward like this or move back look forward look around look out the window buy sell trade to other interactive farmers on the map if we're not just playing multiplayer if we're just playing single player have somewhere we can go and possibly uh, sell our used equipment and then buy something new we want traffic that doesn't just blow through us on the road. I'm sorry, but that car is not going to flip my heavy tractor. I want better collisions out there. It brings so much realism, especially on single player when you see the traffic running down the roads. But not just on the main highways, on the off 
dirt roads, maybe have an old farmer running down there to look at his crops, but also have in-game equipment be running back and forth down the roads, making it more like a farm community and be able to hire somebody to go dump your crops, sell your cattle, uh, drop off some seed, sell your milk at the store, have them actually come to your farm, grab the grain, and be able to contract it and run it through them would greatly improve this game. Interactive cattle too. So when I'm in the feed wagon, have a bale or something on the tractor, the cattle follow us. But also, maybe we want to uh, plant some wheat that we want to pasture like they do in some southern states. Have us be able to put a fence around that field, maybe as a placeable, and put the cattle on any field, not just in that little itty bitty area they give us as placeable. Equipment able to tie down on trailers. How many of us all have been struggling with this? I know pallets, FS19 I believe they did, you'd be able to put straps down on uh, bales and uh, pallets and everything, but now we need it for all the equipment, be able to tie it down. But not just with a strap, That's, but just actual tie down points for the tractors. Maybe put a, a chain down where it straps it down, we can't be able to move it. No more sink sim. I probably should have put this a lot higher and you guys are probably be yelling at me because of it. If you play multiplayer, you probably get tired of this, especially if you're playing with a lot of people. Sync Sim gets tiring. I don't know if they can do it. It might be pretty hard, but it would be great if they figure out a way to just have a person coming into the game be the only one experiencing the Sync Sim. Because once you get a lot of placeables and a lot of equipment on the map, that Sync Sim turns into Sync Eternity. It gets rough, Giants. We need something better. Have it out there. If I blow through a stop sign, a cop patrol could pull me over, give me a fine. If I overload a truck or put too much weight on a trailer, they could fine me. Maybe if I drive on some other farmer's land, they can fine me for trespassing. Or if I accidentally harvest another guy's field, I could get a huge fine or maybe even be put into jail. It would just bring another element to playing, especially in multiplayer. Have more chemicals for the crops in game. Have it affect the yields of the crops. But having something like anhydrous where you have to put it down and you can put it down in the winter time or early spring or different herbicides for the type of uh, weeds you have in the field. I know this would get a lot and might get confusing, but it gives another experiences for all the managers out there that like to manage a farm. Precision farming came a long way. Hopefully they can figure out some of the bugs in it, but if they can approve on that, give us more chemicals out there so we can put it on the crops, be able to experience the game as more of a manager side, bring us an actual semi brand name. We want the real name brands out there like the Peterbilt, Kimworths, uh, Freight Shaker, Whatever your favorite truck is, they can probably only really bring one, but we definitely don't want to play with the Lizard name brand. You give us it on equipment, we also want it in trucks. Last but not least, we want more pets out there. Maybe a cat, maybe a pet chicken, maybe a pet goat, something like that that follows us around, maybe rides around on our lap, makes us uncomfortable in the cab, something like that. So there you go. 1 for 50, that is my list. Let me know if I missed something completely, if I got something out of the order that it should be, but I'm hoping and dreaming I get what I want in FS21, hopefully this year, if not next year, 
we can all be enjoying this new game together. Later, y'all. Catch you next time.